Hi class, my name is Mohammed Prince. This is my week one discussion post for uh, MPA 520. So for my uh, introduction, um, I got my education at CBU, got my bachelor's and master's of business administration here. Um, and for my career, currently I'm working um, in leadership at the Living Spaces Distribution Center um some of my specializations are large team management process improvement um focus a lot on shipping and receiving and um as well as safety and uh a lot of other things that um leaders focus on um and so far i've liked it a lot um previously i worked in um legal document preparation and legal research. And then before that, I worked in accounting. Um, so I got some mixed experience, but majority of my experience has been in management. So for my hobbies, I like riding motorcycles. I like riding every type of motorcycle. Um, pictured is my sport bike and my dual sport. Um, that's a BMW S1000 RR. That's a Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled. Um, I also have a Harley, um, a Night Rod Special for a cruiser. I like dirt bikes. I like every kind of motorcycle. I'm just, um, it's one of my biggest hobbies. And um, just just really my biggest form of transportation. I only really drive a car when it, when it rains, you know, when the weather is bad, too cold, or it's rainy. But um, always on a motorcycle. So for leadership, I feel that there are two different kind of um, two different ways you can go about it. You can be a manager and you can have a do it mentality or you can be a leader and you can have a let's do it mentality. So um, a manager uses the position of power to order their team members to do work. A leader leads the team members through the work and um, the difference is the leader has the team ready to follow him and the manager really just uses discipline and a position of power. So um, the, the leadership theory I would use is the democratic style of leadership because um, it takes more of a collaborative approach. It um, The leader uh, acts for feedback and input from the team to make decisions. He listens to a range of opinions. Um, it has a two heads are better than one philosophy, and it tests the ideas with the followers. Um, they delegate decisions to the followers and um, allow followers the freedom to make choices. Um, leaders are still accountable for those choices, but the followers have a lot of input. Um, it makes the leader more approachable. Um, and you make a more of an effort to connect with the team. It promotes great communication. Um, it relies on relational influence and the leader can gain trust in their followers and the followers can gain trust in the leader. Um, and the followers become more creative and innovative in this process. Um, and they're consistently productive even when the leader is not in the room. Um, this promotes um, followers to have higher satisfaction levels in their job roles. 